about the the hyper sub and the, and the future of the company is that uh, you know it'll it'll revolutionize subsea research because it's just cheaper and easier to get underneath the water. Uh, you know the tourism market it completely changes the tourism market. Right now, really, you're the only really successful tourism subs are the big, large, 32 passenger like Atlanta submarines. But they have to have port side facilities, dock facilities. The boat has to be down for about 12 hours out of 24 to recharge batteries and stuff like that. Where the hypersub quite literally can launch from a basic dock like this with no maintenance facilities. And the boat never has to be down for recharge because it recharges the systems to and from. So it completely changes the, the expense structure and therefore the profit structure of the boat. It basically, like I said, is the world's first underwater truck. We've just survived so many battles you know we had put 21 dives on this and we're poised for our first three boat contract and then the economy collapsed and that was in 2008 and so suddenly all investment capital dried up everything dried up and uh and so we had to figure out how to maneuver ourselves back in a position to get back in a facility and come up with the the investors we needed to whip the boat back into shape and to get us in a position to where we could demo it <clears throat> and then, uh, ultimately, uh, our, our master mechanic, Gene Mock, he, he needed to go and take another position. You know. and suddenly, I had to figure out how to put motors back in it, which I'd never really paid attention to. And so, I've put all this back together myself, not necessarily being a mechanic, certainly not having his skill set. And uh, everything is working even the upgrades which are electrical i never even knew how to use a voltmeter you know a year ago and it's pretty rewarding to turn those keys and the motors start and see your voltmeters working and your batteries charging and your air system and I, I honestly thought that was the end of it uh end of the company the end of our struggle because it was like there's no way i'm ever going to figure all this out and uh but with his gene's continued support the support of my two brothers you know, Greg Merrick, Jerry Richardson, and other people. Uh, when I'd run into a snag, something I couldn't quite figure out, they'd jump in and help me figure it out. And so uh, it's rewarding to have that many people that, that have stayed behind you for that long. You realize how blessed you are to have been able to have survived all of the battles, plus kind of rebuilding the boat and still be walking. Your gas bills paid, your electric bills paid, and and your, your wife is still in good shape and good spirits, you know.